Hello everyone, I am Shamant Goda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the question of the day series on this auspicious day of Guru Purnima. In this series, I will be taking every day one question and I will explaining that question with the logic, technique and also very simple way of solving through the concepts. Because as we know, 2023 paper CSAT was difficult and the students who are facing difficulty these questions or these technique of solving the questions will be very helpful. Okay, I will be taking every day the previous year questions as well as some of the questions which are conceptually very important for the upcoming exams also. And also every day I will be giving one question as the homework which is called the bouncer of the day question and this is to solve, you guys have to try this question and in the next video I will be explaining with the details that question and I will be taking one new question also. So every day one question solving and one question for the homework. Now, this is the first question of the day. What is the reminder when 85 into 87 into 89 into 91 into 95 and 96 is multiplied and divided by 100? The product, whatever you are getting, when you divide by 100, what is the reminder? Okay, As the word itself mentions, this is the reminder theorem conceptually and factorization. What you have to apply is factors here. Factors means divisors. Now, whatever the product you are getting here, okay, let us consider whatever the product you are getting here, a number, certain number. This number, when I divide this by 100, what is the reminder? That is what the question. Okay. Now, see here, this is 85. This means we have a 5 here. Okay. What I am saying here is this can be split and written in this form right 85 can be written in this form 17 and 5 this 17 and 5 are called factors of 85 means 85 can be divided by 17 85 can be divided by 5 also so in this 85 i can extract 5 out of it okay now similarly here there is 95 this also can be written in the form of 19 into 5 where 19 and 5 are the factors of 95 okay now i got this 5 here a 5 here so 2 5s means 5 into 5 25 will be there okay definitely this number is divisible by 25 let's go further now 96 here this 96 can be split in this way 24 into 4 right okay this is 24 into 4 this 96 is divisible by 24 as well as 4 also Okay, so I can say the factors of 96 are 24 and 4. I'll take 4. Okay, when I take 4, if I multiply here, this becomes 100, right? So whatever this product here means, whatever the outcome, result of this multiplication, this number has to be in the form of some hundred. Means this has to end with two zeros only. Why two zeros? Because you are getting this number in terms of 100. Because I have 5 here, here 1 5 and a 4. 5 into 5 into 4 is 100. So anything, for example, this can be in the form of 89 into 100, 8900 or it's 87 into 89 into 100, that is one certain number. But any of this number, whatever the result you are getting here has to end with two zeros. If it is ending with two zeros, here also two zeros, right? Definitely gets divided, okay? If it is completely dividing, so the remainder would be what? Zero only. Okay, he is not asking for the quotient, reminder. If it is completely divis dividing, then the reminder is 0. Okay, So, this is a question from reminder theorem and particularly factors we have to apply here. And this is the homework question, which is the bouncer of the day question. A number is divided by 114 leaves reminder 39. Okay, It is not completely dividing, reminder is 39. If the same number is divided by 19, find the reminder. Here also, reminder concept question only. So, try to solve this question and post the answers in the comment section. Keeping the difficulty level of the CSAT in 2023 given, in this regard, we here at Insights are starting a new CSAT batch on the 21st of July and the details of that CSAT course is given in the description here. This will be very much helpful for the students who are struggling a lot because of only CSAT. We will see you in the next video. Thank you.